Hallelujah. How's it going? My name is Blessius and we're back into Destiny, but we're not really playing Destiny. I want to talk to you about something very, very serious and that is lag. And Destiny is prone to lag. Let's just be honest. I mean, how many times have you got the baboon ever? Now, look at... <laughs> oh, I don't even care, you killed me. That was the most fun game I ever had and you kicked me. You kicked me. So what I was going through right after my move to Tennessee was a lot of lag. Then the April update happened and I got so many baboon errors that I just couldn't process it. Like I was a little frustrated. The folks over at NetDuma were kind enough to send me the NetDuma, if I can pick this up, the NetDuma R1, the ultimate gaming router. And I'm just gonna be honest, they sent it to me for free as long as I gave my unbiased review or thoughts on this product. And I'm gonna be honest with you. In the box, there was three things. There was an ethernet cord, there was the NetDuma router, and then there was this lovely piece of paper. Now this paper has the simplest instructions ever. You have your modem, you connect it all the way into here, and then this is the ports where you plug in anything wired. So I have my Mac for editing and streaming, my PlayStation that I used to record, and the PlayStation that's in our living room. It's so easy to just set up. I'm gonna be honest with you. Most routers you set up, you forget, but NetDuma has this thing where it has a, a backend system that you see right here that is so easy to use. I'm like, it is just unbelievable. So right here, this is the PlayStation that I use. And this is where I'm trying to find my connections. It's called a geo filter. Most times lag is caused by distance. Sometimes it's just because people have $1.99 internet. Let's just be honest. But this is trying to find it in this radius. I have it set to about a thousand miles out. I mean, you can be picky. You can set it to 100 miles, 500 miles, or all over the world. You can be as picky as you incredibly want. But I wanted about a thousand miles. So I get most of the West Coast or East Coast. I get most Central America. That is where I want to play. I don't want to be connecting to people from the other side of the world. Nothing against you. It's just going to be a laggy game. So you want something really nice and tight. You can set ping assist so it tries to find you a game that doesn't go below that kind of ping. And it just is really nice that you can be able to be that picky. So we have Destiny here. I am just, you know, sitting in orbit. Let's just try to connect to Iron Banner. And this is what happens when you connect to a game. First thing, it goes to searching Guardians and evaluating Guardians. Here, things are popping up. This is a lovely thing because you see all this, this are connection, these are connections that it's trying to connect to, and it's relatively close. You might have saw that little caution sign over here. That was someone trying to connect from California. But NetDuma was like, no, no, you are not connecting to this game. So basically what I've noticed is I don't get a little thing that says two, three, four, five evaluating guardians easily. I just all of a sudden, connect to it because NetDuma is trying to be a little picky with who I am playing with. And here we go, we're flying out and let's just see the roster real quick. As you can see, these are the people that's going to be in the game and can you notice anything? On the NetDuma geo, geo filter, everything is in that thousand mile radius and over here, all green bars. I mean, truly, that's what's up. On two pages, all green bars. That is something that I am in love with because everyone is just complaining that this Iron Banner is laggy, 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 and I am honestly having a better experience than most because this router is trying to really kick butt on saying, no, I am not gonna connect to you all the way across the world. You are gonna have a decent game, and it's nice that you are gonna be able to connect to something like that. Now, if you want my unbiased opinion, everything is great, the software is great, now, the router itself is not made by NetDuma, it's third party, but you are mainly buying it for the software. If you want to use Wi-Fi, um, if you're in an apartment uh, complex, you probably know the, the warning signs that you see when you see 2.4 gigahertz. What that means, if you're in an apartment, say, I live in an apartment complex that has seven buildings and 95% of everyone is using a 2.4 gigahertz router for their Wi-Fi. 
pin that just is a bunch of congestion. The people above you, the people below you, the people to the sides, all using that same frequency, you are not going to have great results. I wish the router could broadcast on 5 gigahertz. Now, the router that we have from Comcast, that's a router modem, broadcasts 5.0 gigahertz. And that's what we use for our phones, uh, any iPads, or anything like that. But we are all hardwired into everything else, and that's what NetDemo really, really, really helps with. And there's other things with NetDemo, like you can control how much uh, broadband is going to one computer versus another. So, say if Sophie is in the other room binge watching, you know, Supernatural while I'm trying to stream trials, and my PS4 and my Mac are taking a bulk of that, it makes sure that she gets enough so like she can watch 1080p Supernatural, and I can broadcast without any lag or any issues with Twitch. Or I could be uploading to YouTube and not have any sort of problem. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. This is honestly, I'm not trying to sell out or anything. This is just my honest opinion about something. And it was so kind of NetDemo to ship out this router to me based on my word that I would say I'd give it a So thank you, NetDemo. Thank you guys for being so awesome and watching this. Until next time, guys. Kawabunga.